So let's start at the top of our mat, bringing your feet together, standing nice and tall, reaching the crown of your head up. Everything's nice and soft, the shoulders are soft. We're gonna bring our hands to our heart here, taking one big inhale through the nose. Easy exhale out the mouth. We're gonna take a big inhale here to float the arms up. On the exhale, bringing yourself all the way down. Fingertips come onto the mat. Let your whole upper body be very heavy. Maybe leaving your fingers on the mat. Maybe folding your arms, grabbing opposite elbows. Maybe putting a little sway from side to side if that feels nice. Go ahead and drop your hands heavy onto the mat, notch by notch. We're gonna roll all the way up to the tops. So your head's the very last part of you to come up. And once you're up, Big inhale to float the arms up. Easy exhale to come all the way back down. Let's keep our fingertips onto the mat. We're gonna take a big inhale here to look up. Nice flat back. On the exhale, we're gonna leave the right foot where it is and just send the left foot back. Maybe adding a little sway here from side to side, keeping everything nice and easy. And let's go ahead and ease that back knee down to the mat. Taking a big inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up. On the exhale, sinking down through the hips. Big inhale to rise. Exhale down one more, just like that. Big inhale floats you all the way up. Easy exhale, coming down. We're gonna take a little twist to the right now, bringing your left hand on the outside of that knee, maybe sliding your right hand down your back leg. Really sinking down here. And let's inhale back to center. Fingertips come onto the mat, tuck the back toes. As you flex through the right foot, reaching the crown of your head towards the foot. Maybe adding a little sway here, staying nice and easy in your body, nice and easy in your breath. And let's go ahead and place that right foot flat onto the mat straightening your back knees. So we're back in this low lunge. We're gonna take a big inhale to straighten the front leg. Exhale, sink your back heel down towards the mat. Folding your torso over that front leg. Maybe adding a little sway here, keeping everything nice and soft, really movable. And let's come back to our low lunge. Press into your feet, big inhale, floats your arms up into a high lunge. Exhaling, coming all the way down, planting the hands onto the mat, coming into a nice strong plank position, drop the knees, exhale all the way down to the mat, tuck the toes, push yourself straight back into a downward dog. Maybe pedaling out through your legs here, maybe adding a little sway, letting your head, your shoulders be very relaxed. And we're just going to take a little stroll to the top of the mat. Big bend through the knees. Easy yourself all the way back up to the top. Once your head gets up, floating the arms up. Big inhale here. Exhale, coming all the way back down. This time keeping your left foot where it is. Let's go ahead and send the right leg back. So we're in our low lunge now. Sinking down through the hips, bringing the chest forward. Maybe adding the soft little sway. Let's go ahead and ease the back knee down, release the tops of the toes. Big inhale floats you up. Exhale, sinking down through the hips. Two more, just like that. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink. One more big inhale to come up. Exhale down. Twisting over towards the left, bringing the right hand on the outside of that knee, left hand down your back leg. Nice, easy twist here. Coming back to center, dropping the fingertips onto the mat, tucking the back toes. We're going to exhale the hips back, keep reaching the crown of the head towards the foot. Every exhale, feeling yourself melting a little bit lower. Very nice. We're going to place that left foot flat, tuck the back toes, straighten that back leg. Inhale to float the hips up, straightening the front leg. Exhale, sinking the back heel down. 
trying to create a little bit more space here through your left leg. Coming back into your low lunge, really pressing into the feet. Big inhale to float you up, high lunge. Exhale, coming all the way down, planting the palms down. Stepping back into a plank, coming down onto the knees. Coming all the way down to the mat. This time staying on the mat, bringing your hands behind your back. Reaching your fingertips behind you. Opening up through the chest, the shoulders. Maybe a little rock here from side to side. Nice big arch. And exhale, the forehead comes down. Bring your fingers to the mat. Push yourself back here into a child's pose just for a few breaths. And from here, let's come into a tabletop position. Tuck the toes. Push yourself straight back into your downward dog. And once again, we're just going to take a little stroll to the top of the mat, this time bringing your feet together, sinking your hips nice, down nice and low. Big inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart in your chair pose. Inhale to come up. This time on the exhale, Go over to the right side, hooking that left elbow across the knee, pressing the top palm into the bottom. Big inhale to come up. Exhale, twisting over towards the left, hooking the right elbow across that left knee. Inhale to come up. Exhale, forward fold, interlacing your fingers, reaching your fingers up and overhead. Maybe adding a little sway. Seeing if you can create a little bit more space for the shoulders. Let's take a big inhale to lift you up. Exhale to fold. Let's do one more just like that. Big inhale floats you up. Exhale to fold. And let's release the fingers here. Inhale to look up. Nice flat back. Exhale forward fold. We're going to plant the palms and just step back into our downward dog here. However is easiest for you. Really taking your time here. Maybe adding a little sway side to side. And from here we're going to take a big inhale to float the right leg up. Maybe opening up through the hip. That feels nice for you. And then we're going to bring that right foot in between our hands back in our low lunge. Pressing into your feet. Big inhale floats you up. High lunge. Exhale, bringing your palms together into a low lunge. Inhale to float you up. This time twisting towards the right, hooking the left elbow across the bent knee, pressing the top palm into the bottom. Maybe releasing your hands now so your left hand comes onto the mat, floating your right arm up. Good, coming back into our low lunge. Big inhale floats you up. Exhale into warrior two now towards the left. Sinking nice and deep through the hips, maybe adding a little bit of movement here. Big inhale floats you up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, sinking a bit deeper, warrior two. Two more, just like that. Inhale to float up. Exhale down. Big inhale floats you up. Exhaling, coming all the way down. We're going to turn the palm of the front hand up, big inhale here, and on the exhale, we're going to tip it back, reaching the right hand back behind us. Nice big opening here. And on the exhale, we're going to bend that front knee, bringing the forearm onto that knee, big inhale to float the left arm up, really opening everything up, allowing your body just to roll open. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale to come up slightly, exhale, sinking in our warrior two. Palm comes up big and he'll tips you all the way back into reverse. And on the exhale, we're bringing the forearm onto that bent knee, reaching the left arm up and overhead, rolling everything open, really sinking here. And let's just turn around so we're back into our, our low lunge here. And we're going to walk the fingertips out in front of us. So we're standing now on our right leg, really bending through that right leg, reaching through the toes of the left foot. I'd like you to put a big bend in your left knee as you inhale, softening everything to come up to a standing position, holding your left shin, maybe giving it a little hug. 
And from here, we're just gonna bring the sole of the left foot on the inside of that right leg, wherever it goes. So maybe your ankle, your inner thigh, anywhere in between. Bringing your hands to your heart. From here, we're gonna take a big inhale to reach our hands up if that feels nice for you. Maybe adding a little sway, taking up all the space around you. Very good. We're going to float the arms up, bring the knee back to center. Big inhale, arms come up. On the exhale, big bend through your standing leg, tipping your body over, fingertips come down, reaching that left leg up and overhead, standing split. Big bend through the right knee. We're going to drop that left foot flat onto the mat, pressing into your feet. Big inhale, floats you up, high lunge. Exhale all the way down. Fingertips come down, back in a plank position. We're gonna drop on the knees, exhale down. Coming back up, straight back into our downward dog. And we're gonna do all of that on the other side. So we're gonna take a big inhale to float the left leg up, maybe opening up through the hip, if that feels nice in your body. And then we're gonna bring that left knee in between the hands back in our low lunge. Pressing into your feet, big inhale floats you up. Exhale, soften everything back down. Inhale to come up. On the exhale, we're gonna hook now that right elbow across the bent left knee, pressing the top palm into the bottom. Maybe dropping your right hand down onto the mat, big inhale floating your left arm up. And coming back into the lunge, big inhale to come up. Exhale, softening everything back down. Inhale, floats you up. Exhale, warrior two. And remembering to rise a little bit on the inhale. Exhale to come down. Very good. Inhale, we're going to straighten that front leg. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Two more, just like that. Inhale to reach up. Exhale down. One more. Big inhale, floats you up. Exhale down, turning the palm of the front hand up, big inhale, exhale, reaching it up and overhead, nice big opening here. And on the exhale, we're going to bring that left forearm on the bent knee as we inhale, reaching that right arm up and overhead, rolling your whole body open. One more time, big inhale, exhale to sink in our warrior two. Inhale, palm comes up, and on the exhale, we're going to float that left arm up and back. Bring your left arm back onto your bent knee. Big inhale, floats the right arm up and overhead. Very good. We're going to turn out to spin towards the front of the mat, back into this low lunge. Crawling your fingertips forward, reaching out through the toes of that right foot. Big bend in your left knee, softening everything down, pressing into your foot. Bringing yourself all the way up here into a standing position. We're going to bring the sole of the right foot somewhere along the inside of that left leg. Maybe the ankle, the inner thigh, anywhere in between. Bringing your hands to your heart. And when you're ready, big inhale, maybe floating the arms up. Nice big opening here. Owning all the space around you, maybe putting a little sway. And let's bring the hands down, bringing the knee back to center. We're going to take a big inhale to float the arms up. On the exhale, softening everything down as we tip over, reaching that right leg up and back, standing split. Big bend through the left knee, dropping that right foot behind us. We're back here in our low lunge. Pressing into your feet, big inhale takes you up. Easy exhale, coming all the way back to a low lunge. Stepping your left foot back, back in a plank position. We're going to drop the knees. Exhale all the way down. And pushing yourself straight back up and over. Back into your downward dog. And we're going to take a little stroll now to the top of the mat. One easy step at a time. Letting everything be nice and heavy. Maybe adding a little sway, maybe crossing your arms, grabbing opposite elbows. Letting your hands go down heavy on the mat. 
Very slowly here, rolling up notch by notch all the way up to the top. And once you get there, float the arms up, palms touch. Exhale your hands back to your heart. Well done, yogis. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I hope to see you again next time. If you like this video, then please do like it, share it, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you.